Hi, my name is José Brito. I'm from Portugal. I've been doing scale models since I was uh, five years old. I started in 1981. I'm now 46. Um, and uh, my main um, preferences are the armor modelings, dioramas and the sci-fi models. Uh, I'm here today with uh, Bertolt and uh, it's a big pleasure for me to meet all my friends uh, again after some Covid problems in pandemics in Europe. So it's a big pleasure for me to be here at you all. Well, I'm, I'm mainly known by um, my dioramas and uh, especially uh, being myself an architect, I build a lot of uh, urban dioramas. Now I have a special interest in um, civil modern dioramas from local and, or regional conflict uh, like in the Middle East um, and being architect, it's a big help because I, I'm specialized in uh, how to construct a building and I can tra transport my architect experience for the scale modeling and it's, um, it's, uh, it's easier for me. So I, I'm at this moment, my main focus is uh, in uh, dioramas about civil subjects uh, from local conflicts. Yeah. Yeah.
This is the first World Model Expo uh, I, I, I attend. Yeah, it's uh, the quality is great, and um, this is beyond my 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 expectations. It's much much better, and uh, the work the guys from the Scale Model uh, Factory are doing organizing this event is 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 really really professional and really really good. Well, uh, in my opinion, uh, World Model Expo is um, it's um, it's well, it's it's a little bit funny, but I think it's like a, a scale model challenge, but on steroids. You know, it's um, it's uh, much bigger, and it's uh, quality is mind mind blowing, and uh, it's really, really, really good. Well, about uh, trending, uh, yeah, I, I think there are several trends. But uh, when you your interest is, uh, for example, armor modeling, uh, what is happening at this moment? Sadly, what is happening at this moment in Ukraine? Um, sometimes uh, there is some influence in in some modelers because they start doing, uh, yeah. They are starting doing uh, more modern stuff from that conflict. But for example, uh, if there is released a sci-fi movie, uh, some modelers will start an interest. For example, now with the new Top Gun, we can see a lot of uh, F-14 models in the in the shows. There, so we are always influenced by by what is happening around us. But scale modeling is is about that influences for what is about around us. Well, um, it uh, I saw, but it's a it's a um, it's a common uh, in in every scale model challenge. But in this world model expo, the quality of the works is top quality but the figures are really really amazing but i i can see amazing jobs in um, in dioramas in ships in planes sci-fi models uh, but the figures uh, in the world model expo 2022 is the is the main the main focus <coughs> I, I think if you if you want to to progress uh, as a scale modeler, uh, we must try. Uh, we, we must start with the the, the basics. Um, for example, uh, dry brush is a is a technique uh, for us more experienced modelers. It's a, it's not a common technique, but for the people who are starting. I always gave this advice: try dry brush because there, there will will have a huge impact in your progress. It, it happened to me when I was a small kid. There was no YouTube, there was no magazines, there were no tutorials or or shows. And by accident, I I discovered by totally accident dry brush. And for me, it was <laughs> like a, it was a huge difference in my models. Um, and I keep saying to, to the newcomers, try dry brush, don't be afraid to use uh, washes, uh, dry brushes, try uh, watercolors, acrylics, animals, paints from construction, civil construction, try everything because other way you, you can't do progress. But if you are a newcomer, try dry brush, don't be afraid. In my, in my case, was totally by accident, uh, and uh, back then uh, I think to myself, "Oh, I just invented a new technique." A few years later, I saw that someone already was. It's, it's like reinventing the wheel. <laughs> uh, 
Well, uh, it's easy. Uh, first of all, being being humble. Uh, listen, listen, everyone, even the the less experienced modelers, because we are always learning something. Uh, but most of all, um, being humble, uh, read a lot about scale modeling, um, look, uh, paying very attention what other modelers are doing, what they say, uh, sharing experience, um, um, and basically that's it. It's a um, talk. Hello, talk to everyone and being humble and uh, see what other people are doing and sharing knowledge because it's very important. When we share knowledge, um, uh, things evolve and uh, other modelers, less experienced modelers and newcomers, um, they can progress, they can be happy and uh, sometimes um, a simple tip from an experienced modeler makes all difference in a, in a newcomer. Uh, and I like to see the happiness in a, especially in small kids when sometimes they come to me and uh, ask uh, one or two or three questions and uh, I spend the necessary time to, to explain everything and I send pictures by, by, by messenger explaining all the process and so I think it's basically being humble and sharing knowledge. Well, um, I think it will be will be. Um, I, I think it it will evolve in a in a very very good way. I hope I I can be here to see and I like uh, what I'm what I'm seeing now with the new technologies supporting the, um, the scale modeling I think we will uh, look a big transformation in manufacturers 3d printing is uh, now uh, a reality and uh, we are starting to see small companies releasing some very interesting stuff and stuff that it, it will be impossible to produce in plastic or even in resin. And I'm quite happy with, uh, with what I'm seeing because uh, new companies appearing, uh, almost everything is available in, uh, in scale modeling, in every scale. So in 10 years, I think we will see wonderful things happening. Uh, I'm quite happy and I just hope to be here and my friends be here also to, to see what what future bring brings to us. Well, it's a it's a good question, and uh, I, I I didn't think about um, about that previously, but I think yes, I think yes, I think we'll um, we'll have some issues, uh, mainly because geopolitical issues. Uh, so I hope I hope the impact will not be big, but there will be. So how it will affect scale modeling? Well, I, I think no one can predict that. Uh, at least in a few years, maybe it's difficult to predict how it will impact. But uh, I think situations, for example, like Brexit, they are al already have impact because. Uh, People from uh, continental Europe, for example, are stop ordering materials from Great Britain because they went direct for the customs. Uh, at least in Portugal, it's happening that. So um, there is always impact in uh, in every activity, and scale modeling is uh, is uh, is not Im immune to geopolitical issues. Yeah, I'm quite happy. Yeah, uh, and um, this uh, I came here um, 
uh, this year after the pandemic. So uh, it was almost two years and a half without a big show. And it was a quite surprise uh, because I see uh, most of the companies are still coming. Uh, all my friends are here are with uh, good health and uh, the companies are releasing lots of uh, new stuff, interesting stuff. So I'm I'm quite happy with uh, with that, what I'm seeing and experiencing in here. Yeah, quite happy. Well, I've been doing this for 41 years. Um, so <laughs> it's difficult to answer because uh, I already I was very lucky to 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 meet great people, cooperate with uh, great people, great companies. Uh, I have thousands of friends from all over the world. Um, I had the chance to work with the best editors, the best uh, manufacturers. Uh, uh, visiting the best shows, uh, so I think uh, I already published several books, uh, hundreds of uh, magazine articles, uh, videos, workshops in the best shows, so now I'm just enjoying uh, day by day. I'm trying to, to, to um, Move, I, I don't know, I'm trying to move aside and let the newcomers uh, get their own space. Uh, now I prefer to be in, a, in a, a side and let the young people come. So for me now it's, um, it's day by day because I think I already reach uh, some high level. I was very fortunate um, and I, I, I make um, I made a name, but my name, I made a name, but it will, it will be impossible. Now everyone, or most of the people, know my name in scale modeling. But that will be impossible without the help of my, my modeling friends, the editors, manufacturers, because they were a constant uh, support. So it will be impossible for me to, to become well known without their help. So, for all of you, a big thank you, and uh, it will be impossible to be to be who I am today as a modeler without your help. Yeah. So, for the future, well, I I will keep uh, working, uh, making dioramas, doing my best. I always trying to learn with everyone, uh, sharing my all I know. So it's my main goal for the future. <laughs> yeah. And the 